Okay, we're going to look at some of the properties of gases with this little simulation here. First of all, we're going to put some gas in the container. There we go. And you'll start to see the pressure of the gas in the container is going up. Now, pressure is directly related to the collisions of the gas with the container. And, you know, we're actually around about 0.3 atmospheres here, give or take. And it's dependent on the collisions. Now, if we want to increase the pressure, uh, we need to increase the collision. So we can do this a couple of ways. The first way would be obviously just to speed up the molecules. So if we heat them up, the molecules will move faster. You can see that little blue dots are moving faster. The temperature has increased, obviously, and the pressure has also increased. The pressure has increased because the number of collisions between the molecules and the side of the container has increased because the molecules are moving faster. So they get to the side of the container faster, they hit it faster, they hit the other side faster and the pressure increases. We can go the opposite way and cool it right, 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 right down. You can see the molecules are starting to move much slower. If they're moving much slower, then they're going to collide less frequently and hence there will be a lesser pressure. Let's just reset. This time I'm going to fix the temperature, so I don't want to change the temperature at all. Toss in some gas, and the gas starts to move at the speed relative to this temperature. Now remember the temperature is fixed, and we've got about 0.15 atmospheres here. We can also then change the pressure in here by changing the size of the container. So remember pressure was to do with collisions. So if we want them to collide more often with the container, we need to make the container smaller. So if we make the container smaller, you can see they collide more often. They have got less distance to go and the pressure has gone up. The temperature is being maintained because we've you know, put some heat control in there. So to increase pressure, you can decrease volume. Decreasing volume means the collisions will happen more frequently. More frequent collisions means more pressure. That's Boyle's law. So if we take this back, extend it right out, the collisions slow right down because they have further to travel before they collide. And if that's the case, then we're going to have a lesser pressure. Now the other way to increase pressure is obviously just to change the amount. So we've got a particular pressure here with this number of blue molecules. If we just put in some more, we will increase the pressure because there will be more collisions because there is more molecules.